So how does someone go in and make a million dollars per year and also attract dozens of agents into their downline? Today, folks, I'm going to go ahead over a case study and an informative walkthrough of how Sammy is going ahead and using agentractors.io to really build this downline and take things to the next level. Let's dive into my screen. I'll share screens there. So what I've got on my screen here is a little presentation about how a team leader, Sammy Ahmed, made $1.2 million from one digital product within 18 months while attracting producing agents to his team and downline. In fact, last week I was on a call with Sammy, a group coaching call, and he mentioned he's on track for his first six-figure month, and uh, he's looking to really just get that, that momentum going every single month. So you know, six-figure months are awesome, but I think the big thing is really producing agents coming in and partnering with you at your downline. Now, this doesn't only really just work for downlines. It works exceptionally well for downlines, but we've had people use this exact same model I'll talk about today for going to their local teams with A players, really picking and choosing the cream of the crop, independent brokerages, it's the process is exact same. So recruiting, attracting agents is a process. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you guys the right way. So Sammy Ahmed, of course, you know, he comes in and you know, he just wants to uh, really sell into digital products, right? So he sees myself, I'm running ads all over the internet and he's actually from my local hometown. He's like, who is this guy? Like he's making all this money. Like he, I wanna do something like that. So Sammy's obviously successful before he has his own brokerage. You know, he's doing quite well. He's not one of those, you know, the, the, the nine out of 10 agents that leave the industry this guy's done pretty well for himself and uh you know a lot of people just like sammy you know probably watch this video right now but you know you might be like him like 18 months ago like really you're looking for work-life balance you know you want to just really uh work less earn more right and he was working way too much that time felt burnt out and he just needed a better way i think as entrepreneurs intrinsically we all just want to work less earn more I, even myself right now i always want to work the least amount i can to earn the most amount i'd rather earn a million dollars less per year but really just not work at all and travel the world that's like my goal right and i think all of us intrinsically we want to get to that point because one thing is making money but one thing is just going ahead and you know working all day like an ox right and you don't want that and really sammy wants steady income right because obviously during this time of course covid peak covid right real estate sales all down uh down the drain and really you know everyone's freaking out so he's like look i want to go ahead and use my skill sets i've built this brokerage i've done pretty well for myself i can teach other agents and uh because i already have people asking me so he obviously wants to go from you know doing individual sales to having something that's more online a little bit more passive right so uh he goes ahead and and he's looking at this, you know, he's of course, like, you know, Rev Show organization is really where it's at. Take a look at the industry. Uh, Cloud-based brokerages is really where the industry is heading. I mean, it's not just me saying it as someone that, you know, of course, sells a product that a lot of Rev Share agent type of brokerages buy. It's really just, you know, it's what the industry is heading towards, right? And the fastest growing real estate brokerage right now is real brokerage and the other ones are following suit. So of course, you know, it's very, it's very uh, normal for anyone to go ahead and look at these things and, you know, be like, okay, this makes sense, right? So of course, Sammy sees that, you know, the team model is probably better models out there. And, you know, of course, uh, he wants to now start attracting agents and recruiting them. So of course, that's one of the best ways, you know, of course, anyone in the agent traction game can make money is to focus on that because it's the highest level of activity. Because if we did look at it from a completely, you know, first principles thinking perspective, I mean, the person that makes the most amount of value in the world wins, right? And if you think about it, you can either close deals for yourself or you can help a lot of other agents close deals and then the money trickles upwards, the person that provides the most value. So if you look at it that way, right? Like for example, if Sammy is helping a hundred plus agents, he's able to close way more deals across the board as opposed to him closing a hundred deals. Now, what that allows him to do is because, you know, the reciprocal altruism and the value he creates in the marketplace, that money trickles upward. That's how money flows, right? So that's why he's now like, you know what? I got to double down on this. So uh, of course, expectations are this, right? These methods I'm going to break down to you today that allowed Sammy to do all this, you know, achieve seven figures, everything. Uh, they've been tried and tested in various markets and uh, they've had a lot of results. And I'm not just going to show you, you know, just like how the process works. I'm actually going to give you guys real results and where to find them. But, you know, it's been proven, right? It's no fluff. It's all straightforward, actionable advice that works right now in this new real estate market that we're heading into and i only practice what i preach i do the exact same thing sammy's doing so i'm here to tell you that this stuff actually works and right now you're going to learn from real world examples of sammy's ongoing success story to understand what truly works right now for busy agents and team leads growing their downline so here's the thing um sustainable recruitment model uh the evergreen system right now that i'm going to talk about that sammy's using it really works year round just because you're competing in economics and whenever people compete on economics they always win and unlike traditional recruiting methods like a recruiting agency or in-house scooter it just really eats away at your salaries uh it's, it's air margins and also just brings in the wrong fit of agents which i'll talk about as well this actually allows yourself to fund the acquisition of agents and the agents pay you to keep it going it's, it's very out of the box right but this is what is required to win in the marketplace we're in and you know if we were to really argue that the person with the most amount of agents will win because that's the most amount of value it's going to create a brokerage with a thousand agents 
agents and it's usually going to be much more better than a brokerage with 100 agents but i would also argue that a brokerage with a thousand producing an actual a player agency is going to completely just destroy everyone else so it's not about just like getting bodies in; it's about getting the right bodies in as well and doing it at scale so i want to make sure i preface that because i want to make sure that we are uh, really delivering the best the best for everyone watching right now right we don't want to settle for mediocre or the worst so you can hedge against this market slowdown by just diversifying your real estate income right obviously we see that the real estate market slowed down uh, and everything's of course a little bit scary right and a lot of times you know as an entrepreneur the real estate entrepreneur is really what you are you have to make sure you look at all the diversified income streams in real estate right there are people the same skill sets as you or possibly even less skill sets than you that are making way more money on the monthly basis simply because they are rowing in a better boat warren buffett talks about this as well and you know if you position yourself as a leader by using a strategy to talk about right now you can quite literally you know hop on the bitcoin type of gold rush right now in the real estate industry and like i'm seeing this because first of all i'm not even licensed real estate so i'm not trying to recruit anyone i'm just saying this from a pure entrepreneurial standpoint and seeing where i am at because i pivoted my whole company strategies to align with these kind of changes in the real estate market now who am i who are we uh so my name is prab mangit i'm the founder and ceo of a company called generationleads.com we recently launched a company called agentattraction.io i've worked with over 1100 plus real estate agents made well over seven million dollars now this year we'll have our first uh you know we'll put 10 million dollars in cash collected in online uh, digital income only it's allowed myself to become a millionaire allowed myself to live my dream life and of course i had some nice awards to click funnels awards um we're gonna get the 10 million dollar award very soon here i've got the 30 and 30 uh, award in british columbia canada my top 25 and 25 entrepreneurs from my city you recently been you know got an email from forbes 30 and 30 to go ahead and apply i think i'm a good fit so fingers crossed for that anyways i just want to go ahead and show you guys who i am to show you guys that i'm legit i'm not here just to scam or anything or i know my i've been in the real estate industry for a long time it's been really rewarding for myself now i work with some of the top agent tractors worldwide some people have of course have ndas with myself but try to talk with as many of them as i can and i would i always try to get as many case studies as i can but uh, we've got a track record in the industry uh, very specifically that we learn how to bring our clients results that fit into our schedule and lifetime lifestyle without giving them another full-time job so we want to of course make sure that our clients are changing their lives uh through the work we do now uh, here's a challenge right sammy comes in march 2022 and of course he realized what's coming right massive market shift not just brokerages or rates but like you know uh everything right and you know it's really giving more runway to brokers like exp and like rio broker and all these companies you just look at it like look, look at the agent count changes right like the kws and remax is nothing against them um they've built some great companies but every single industry has reform it's moving way into exp realty rio broker and like you know all these new companies that are emerging are just growing rapidly right and of course because the incentives are aligned epic realty is one of them lbt realty is one of them and of course you know a lot of you know clients just like sammy here um and a lot of agents and maybe yourself you know it's i think it's worth it just to consider like look like there's a lot of the way there are ways to make money in real estate and he actually looked at that and he said like, you know what like i'm gonna have a team putting all this effort in and have another guy like a couple hours over he's making like way more than me on a monthly basis without working as much as me and he has the same number of agents on his team like what's going on here so obviously it gets you thinking right Right? And like, of course, Sammy realized that what he was doing, it wasn't really working. It was more of a caveman model, right? And you know, the caveman, they stay in the past, right? He didn't want an independent brokerage either. He didn't want to be a traditional rainmaker style of uh, team lead. And you know, he didn't want to cold call, coffee date, or sacrifice more time than he did in production. I think if we just, like I said, repeating this, like we, I, we all want to work less and earn more. That's it, right? No one wants to really go out and just sell real estate. I think if we can have the same amount of money we make from production sales or whatever it is, and we just sit at home and relax, doesn't anyone want that? So this is the thing, right? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that from a hypothetical max standpoint, you might not ever get to that point, but you know, I've seen some people that are pretty close to that point with the models I'll talk about today. Now, we done a little bit of an initial beta test and obviously, you know, we started testing out like, look, can you sell a digital product to do agent attraction, right? Because what I realized was, you know, we sold on 1100 plus real estate agents. And in a way that's agent attraction, right? We're attracting agents and we're solving a problem. We're just charging them a couple grand a year to provide a service, right? Now, I said, you know what? What if an agent attractor, a team leader, or a broker does the same funnel that we do, the same way to attract agents, but instead of them actually paying, they just go ahead and say, hey, look, join my downline, join my team, join my brokerage. In the end of the day, lead generation companies are actually the best agent attractors. These marketing companies, the Y Lopos, the Boomtown, the Sinks, they have thousands of agents because they can provide a service. Now, if you can demonstrate that same type of value, it doesn't have to be exactly the same value. Either talk about what kind of value you can provide. You too can do the same, same thing. So that's what I thought. Like, you know what? What? Like we attracted a thousand agents, right? We sold thousand agents. We made millions of dollars. Can we use the exact same thing that we use to pack our calendars, sell on these agents, and apply to agent attraction? So we had all these tests, right? And you know, we started working with our clients, and it wasn't as easy in the beginning. But, you know, a lot of agents uh, that worked with us or a lot of our clients, they want to do agent traction. We're like, look, we'll set up this funnel for you. 
we'll help you do everything and you know we'll set up the exact same ads that we run for our own marketing company and let's see how it goes and we obviously ran into a lot of obstacles first of all our clients were attracting people don't get me wrong they were doing well but the issue was that you know they were really running a churn and burn recruiting factory and there was unmotivated agents there's of course newer agents coming in they just want to hang out the office type of agents, um, higher churn rate. So obviously you can bring a lot of people in, but they leave just as fast. It's not a, as, as good of a thing, right? So agents are looking for freebies and really the churn and burn cycle was inevitable, right? And that's the number one reason why most agent tractors don't make it or just grind endlessly without any real result. So, you know, what the thing is, is that you want to make sure you have agents that are actually, you know, producing and actually have a motivated and hungry mindset and they want to stay there and they view you as the expert, right? That's how you're actually going to make money because one person can have like a hundred agents and they don't really do much. And another person can have like maybe 50 and they just outperform all the other hundred agents. So which, are, which is going to be more better, right? It's actually better to have less is more. And as long as the right people. So, you know, they always say like a team as good as his weakest link. And you want to make sure that you're not just attracting bodies for the sake of bodies. You attract the right folks in. And, you know, if you think about it as well, like a lot of people end up in a spot where they're doing agent traction. They're sort of like half foot in, half foot out. And they're not really doing it properly. And it's not really consistent. So they're like, you know what, let me just go back to personal production. And like, you know, a lot of times that's actually what happens for a lot of people. So now we actually came up, we're like, you know what? Okay, our agents are giving the digital product away for free. That's what we initially told them to do, right? We're running this test, right? Like I said, we go back, we ran a little beta test, right? We said, you know what, guys, why don't you guys give a digital product in, in exchange for agent attraction? So it worked, obviously. But then, like I said, they attracted agents that were not really the right fit. Then we said, you know what, why don't you guys start charging? Because now you're not really losing money in your marketing either. It's just covering the cost of marketing. You're actually making a profit as well. And you're also getting people that are actually motivated. Now, they actually made perfect sense as well because we did it for only general business. That's how we scaled to millions of dollars a year. That is that, you know, of course, if we just kept running marketing and we gave our product away for free, we want to get our money back. How are we going to put more money back into marketing? So that was, you know, one of the things that our, our clients were facing is like, hey, look, we're getting the agents booking with us, but we need to make sure we keep the machine running. And that's when we said, you know, start charging. So the result, of course, not only are you going to make more money, but the agents that come in are now are motivated. They're hungry. They actually don't churn as much. The agent turnover is not crazy. The agents actually produce. And like our, our uh, agent tractors that were working with us, they can actually start projecting like, well, on average, every agent's closing one or two deals a month. Now we can actually make projections how much I'm going to earn. And not only that, but just from like a, like a pure standpoint, like, you know, you are actually changing the world in a better place because now these people are actually producing to change more families' lives, right? And... Our beta test, it ran from 2022 to the end of 2023. And the system was like really launched the public 2024. We're like, you know what? This is working like very, very well. Like we have guys making 40K a month, 30K a month profit sitting from their laptop. These agents removing themselves from production if they want to, that is. Most of them do. And attracting all these agents. In fact, I just had an interview with one of my clients that posted on YouTube. He's attracting too many agents where he has to turn away people. I mean, imagine having that problem for yourself. It's insane, right? So when you pay you pay attention. It's something that I want you guys to lock inside your mind. When you pay, you pay attention. And, you know, Sammy, he starts, you know, crushing things very fast. I mean, if you take a look at this, you know, first call, $6,000. Someone wires him. Another call, $4,000. Paid in full. Made $10,000 in a day. That's like a closing for most people. He made that from the laptop in less than two hours. Now, this is the thing. This is obviously, he did at Starbucks too. Um, but he's making money, right? He's helping his agents. But now the agents are viewing him as the expert. And now they're saying, Sammy, like, how can I work with you more? Or Sammy just asks him himself, hey, do you want to work with me a little bit further? I'd love to help you take things to the next level. And he says, you know what? I have another program at my downline and you can go ahead and partner with me. That's as easy as it is. And I had an interview with them, like just to really back it up. Like this stuff does work. And, you know, that's how we discovered the attraction on demand framework. I mean, you know, it ensures that you can profit from recruitment or agent attraction. And it enables scale and freedom. Upfront profits. You can reinvest back into more ads. I was really talking about that earlier too, where you never have to worry about this. This is an evergreen system because any money you make, the profit you're going to make, of course, you can reinvest a little bit of that profit back into more marketing. And then there's more and more agents keep booking your calendar. Eventually you're like, wow, I have too many appointments on my calendar. I need some help. A good problem to have, of course. And you operate from a laptop and you build a downline for RevShare. I mean, you know, Sammy did this, you know, and he just took three steps to all of it. I'm going to break down those three steps right now. Made $1.2 million. The next couple of years, maybe a couple more million dollars. So bank account goes up, agent account goes up and the right agents come in. So win, 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 right? So that's what you want. And that's why I'm so excited about this. So step number one is actually creating a digital product because Obviously, look, if you want to do what Sammy did, there's a three-step process. The first thing is creating a digital product, but you might be wondering, how do you actually do that? Now, 
Sammy knew from his own mentors that traditional recruiting was not going to be sustainable for him. Like, you know, of course, cold calling, not the best, advanced and free trial, you know, trainings, uh, like LinkedIn stuff, like, you know, all this stuff, indeed, a wise hire, all these recruitment services, cringy social media posts, Instagram reels that don't really get any views at all. And of course, you know, like the same coffee to invitations, needing feely, needy feeling loan officers, just un annoyed with them and the invites that he's producing. I'd also even say like as well, like, you know, sometimes you have to work so hard just to attract one agent. Like I've heard of stories like someone working with an agent uh, for like a year just for them to come and partner with them. Like that's so long, right? Some of our agent tractors are doing this in like a couple months, which complete strangers coming in and working with them. So that's what you want, right? So ends up, you know, a lot of times you end up with like no guarantee of success, it's high effort, of course, uh, low output. It's almost always one on one, which is not really scalable. Your, your time can't really be more than eight to 10 hours a day. And you're just hiring high cost recruiting staff. That's what it right. And, you know, of course, like you're really chasing agents. And, you know, if you chase people, they run away, right? So exhausting, mentally draining, and it just straight up feels like you're giving away your dignity. And, you know, the thing is, it really ruins your uh, reputation, right? Like, it just puts you in, like, that whole MLM bucket. Like, we all know the whole Amways or, like, you know, WFG. Like, you know, that's not what we're really doing here. And this is what you want to do here as well. You want to attract people the right way, right? So you want to promote a paid digital product. This is your agent magnet, and this actually gets people to book on your calendar. Now, instead of buying agents' leads only for them to not convert and waste your money, you get paid up front. So you can reinvest money into further agent attraction efforts. So you attract motivated and hungry agents. And the agents are actually coming and booking on themselves in your calendar. So you're actually truly attracting them. And they're more invested and they actually will produce. And like, think about the last time you paid for something, right? You actually probably implemented it. If it was free on YouTube, uh, you might not have implemented it, right? That's the truth. I mean, myself, I watch all these YouTube videos, but I only listen, listen to the person that I paid $50,000 to a mastermind for. That's just the truth, right? So this is higher leverage because instead of bringing on two agents while losing one, you're able to bring on the perfect fit agents that will never leave. And you actually build a network of high performance. So this is higher leverage because of course, instead of bringing on two agents while losing one, you're now able to bring on the perfect fit agents that are actually don't really leave, right? It's much more safer. And if you look at like the number one way to win in business, because you are in the agent attraction business, keep in mind, if you want to focus on agent attraction, you better treat it like another business, right? That is the truth. Now that business could take care of everything else in your life and other businesses, but you have to make sure you treat it like that. So here's the thing, in business, the people that never lose a customer always win. So your customers are actually agents in this case, and you want to build a network of high performance, right? So now he's now attracting real estate investing focused agents. He's focused on like the right types of folks. Um, he can actually initially start getting more leverage in finding real estate deals for himself as well, since producing agents produces opportunities. So it's like the best version of you attracting all day, right? Because here's the thing, like he's like running these ads all over Canada. He's running like these videos and stuff. And these agents can be viewing his ad at, like, 1 a.m. and he's like fully uh talking about how he can help him he can't do that like more than eight hours a day so now with the power of technology and digital products he could do it all around the clock so the bird's eye view is this cold calls emails text job boards you know recruitment all that kind of stuff and just recruiting people chasing them working on them for months just to get them to attract yourself uh, to, to your downline or just promote a digital product sell for money up front provide the value through coaching and weekly calls and then attract them to your organization now you actually get paid to attract now, what's included in digital product? Well, of course, online course, just a, just a few short to the point training videos, the Zoom weekly group coaching calls, which are awesome because other agents that are already part of your organization can also jump on that and like sort of do the selling for you, which is awesome. Uh, and you are also going to be the leader. In the end of the day, if you're in a group environment, if you were the leader of that call and there's like a lot of agents on the call with you, dozens of agents, who is going to be the leader? Yourself. And who has the highest chance of agent traction there? Yourself, because you're positioning yourself as the expert right? And that's what you want. It's a psychology principle. And, you know, of course, the person that, of course, you're delivering value at the same time, but you also have a community as well, and a digital product, like a school or Facebook group. And all your agents are in there and they're talking to one another, right? And some of your agents in there might already be in your downline. Now they're talking. So now you're like, you could even outsource them, right? So that's what it is. I actually had like an interview with one of my other clients the other day. He's like, dude, like in our community, you know, one of the agents was like talking about how, I think it's an EXP Realty, but any honestly downline brokerage, the same thing. He's like, I was able to structure a deal in Australia for like an investor. And he's like, some other agents reached out to him. Like, how do you do that? I can never do that in my brokerage. He's like, well, it's only available at cloud-based brokerages. Are you open to talking more? And then, you know, of course, that conversation started off the whole agent traction conversation. And he brought in two folks that way. So just something that, you know, is a great way to have uh, agent traction come in as a byproduct of joining a community. Now, something our clients offer, like what could you offer as well? It's like some people offer like lead generation, a digital product, how to do lead generation, how to, you know, do YouTube. Uh, how to offer CRMs, how to offer, you know, do Canva. Really, I always recommend building a digital product around sort of helping agents close more deals. Uh, that's a 
majority of the agents that are going to need help, how helping them generate more listings, helping them outsource their business. But don't overcomplicate it, right? Like you just need to have one digital product. And like Sam using the same one digital product he made years ago. And first year he was doing 700K. Then he did $1.2 million uh, a couple months after that. So simple is what scales. And how much do you charge? I recommend one to 3K for digital product in the beginning. Obviously your most successful clients charge like 6.8K, 7 to 8K, whatever it is. Uh, agents will pay you four figures. That's the truth, right? A lot of people have this belief, like, I don't think agents can pay me. Guys, take it from me. We sold an 1,100 plus real estate agents. If I can do it, not being a real estate agent that's licensed, you can do it too. As long as you provide value, that's the most important thing. Now, I don't want to target new your agents. Well, if you match your digital product to your dream agent avatar, you can change all of that, right? So I always recommend if you're just starting out, try to go for the bigger market of real estate agents. But if you want to just bring in like, like you know, listings as a seasoned agent, you can go ahead and make an offer around that. How to manage, you know, of course, like uh, your transactions, with coordination, listing opportunities, outsourcing operations, delegation. If you can help out people with that and systems, these will attract more experienced agents and teams. Uh, that's just the truth, right? So it's about what problem you solve. And of course, you know, having an expert on there to help you structure these kind of offers is going to be awesome. That's where our team can help. But bottom line is create an offer to attract the avatar you're looking for. Now, you might think that your market's small. Uh, folks, uh, here's the thing. You want to recruit nationwide, right? Like when you're attracting to your downline, especially, you're not limited to just your state or your province or your city, right? And you want to have a bigger total addressable market. And the bigger total addressable market allows you just to have a huge agent attraction business as a byproduct of just going after a bigger slice of the pie, right? Or bigger pizza per se. You get a little, even a small slice of the pie is still a massive return for you. So, you know, most of these cloud-based brokerages that, you know, maybe you're watching this right now, allow you to target anywhere in the world really as well. So we've had people that have sold agents on from like Australia that are based in Canada. So here's the thing, you can do that, right? And if you're looking specifically to recruit in your local markets, well, you just pretty much adjust your marketing on your uh, paid ads for your digital product to target the local market. If you want to go ahead and add national market, just adjust the targeting. It's very simple, right? Well, what if you don't want to take calls? I get it. I get that too. So you just hire a remote closer. Now they take everything off your hands. They close deals for you. And now you have commission checks, not commission checks, but you have like sales coming in daily. Like we have people make 15 to 20 grand in a day without doing anything like before noon, right? I've made about 40 grand a day because I have salespeople that are selling my digital products for me, right? And, you know, these people are commission only as well, which is awesome, right? No base salary, nothing. And if you already manage a real estate sales team of agents, this is pretty much way easier than that as well. And the best part is they're happy to work on the commission only basis, right? They were just close deals on Zoom. So digital products, how the heck do I actually make that? Well, of course, digital products can be uh, done quite easily. Of course, you have what you have built. Like, let's say you have a successful real estate career. You're good at online lead gen. You're good at whatever it is, right? You're good at maybe building teams. You're getting into the stinks, right? You're getting systems. You can build a digital product around that, right? Or what honestly, I've just learned is like, just go to your upline and look if you're in a downline brokerage, what are they offering? And most of the time, they're more than happy to let you rebuild their products and repack package of products into your own, right? But, you know, creating one is exactly something he learned while selling real estate, right? So he just went ahead and, you know, he really just like used upline products. We actually give our clients something called a white label product, which is like a lead generation product, which, you know, he just sort of masks as his own. And we allow our clients to have the license. Now, that was step number one. Step number two is research and development on a proven attraction framework. Now, Sammy had no experience in digital products and attraction attraction, but just as he learned most of real estate uh, knowledge, he was able to rip off and duplicate what already works. And that's what you want to do, right? You want to repurpose. So Sammy didn't want to go ahead and waste time energy by becoming an innovator. Like it just used up resources, is high resource demand. Like, I mean, lots of time and effort needed to start something new from scratch. And it drains your time and energy, of course, takes away from your production and everything. So what you want to do, and of course, is you don't want to be an innovator. And it's slower to market. You know, it's a lengthy development and testing phases delay. It's missed opportunities, complexity in training implementation, and difficulties in standardizing processes across teams, and like at least inconsistency in service delivery. And what he just did is what's already proven to work. He just really just used that and ran with it, right? Like you can see here in this funnel he made. This is funnel that's produced over a million dollars, right? He just went ahead and looked at all digital products in his niche. Facebook ad library is very simple. He studied the structure, what kind of content, what kind of landing pages they were running. He duplicated their framework, customized it to him, and it will actually fit his brand as well. And take what you need, leave what, leave the rest, right? Is what he said. And here's the thing, like he didn't get caught up in analysis process, right? Um, it's always better to take imperfect action and focus on value addition, right? Focus on giving value through what you offer, make your product stand out with your personal touch, know what your audience wants and likes, and use a tested plan, but tweak it to fit your audience's needs. And small changes can make a big difference without creating something completely new. Now, the content structure is topics covered, length and format of content, the marketing strategies, like look at their sales pages, 
look at their email sequences and the del delivery methods. Like how do they actually deliver digital products? So he actually looked at like other, just give you some context. He, he looked at and did research and development on people that are already selling digital products in the real estate space. You know, these big agent tractors of brokerages like EXP and uh, LPT and uh, Epic and Real and all these kind of folks, these big YouTuber real estate agents that were selling courses. He looked at all of them, looked at all their funnels and everything, right? And he looked at like, how are they not only marketing their products, but how are they now delivering the client fulfillment? How are they delivering the actual product itself? A lot of them using face school, Facebook groups, Kajabi, online course portals, and like how many coaching calls were they doing and stuff, all that. He looked at everything, right? So, you know, like, don't you have to bring something new to the table? It's a question a lot of people ask. Well, proven methods work, right? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. And something that has been do done for a long time is working for a reason, right? Stick to doing what's been shown to succeed instead of trying to invent something new. If you have a fresh, unique idea, you can try it. But I think the path of least resistance in the beginning, especially if you want to get the thing off the ground, is just to replicate what's already worked for other people, right? But often, trying too hard and to be different won't bring better results, right? Using a tried and true approach is the fastest and most effective way to get great results for you and your agents. Now, in the stealing, well, here's the thing, not if you put your own twist to it, right? It's just model what people are really doing well, but improve it with your own pre uh, preferences, like add in your own listing presentations, right? But a little bit different, right? And here's the thing, like a lot of like, you know, most of the big real estate coaches, right? Uh, a lot of them are selling very similar products because that's what works. Every single year there's new real estate agents coming to the market. A lot of real estate agents are always looking to get new digital products, right? Everyone wants to get something new and try it out. And honestly, for most digital products I've seen the real estate space is always like how to pack your calendar, how to close more deals, how to run Facebook ads, how to run Google ads. Like these kind of things is what really the agents want, right? And that's what you should be focusing on as well as an agent attractor. There's the reason why some of the top agent attractors out there are selling courses on how to do social media, how to do lead generation, how to run Facebook ads, right? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna name anyone, but on YouTube, you can go ahead and just search it up, how to run Facebook ads real estate. And the first couple of videos out there you'll see are these top agent attractors. So just something that you can go ahead and see. So you don't have to go ahead and make it original, right? As long as like, here thing, like what Gary V said really resonates with me. He says that like, you know, if you are the content, no one can compete with you, right? And in your course, there's gonna be content. And that's already different because people are buying into you. People buy into you for a lot of different reasons, by the way. So the digital product stuff seems like a lot of work. It might take away from production. I get it. It's actually very straightforward and can be done over a weekend. All my digital products, I made them over one weekend, right? For Sammy, all you had to do was create one video that has a high amount of value, which is like, you know, that was like the one thing that took a little bit longer than anything. You don't have to create a whole Netflix series here. Just one video. Don't overcomplicate it. Just inject your own experience and knowledge into that one video. And then prior to make his own first digital product, Sammy had like a lot of virtual assistants. He knew how to do online lead generation. He made his product around that. The one video I'm talking about is called a video sales letter or a value video. People watch this video and then they book a call on your calendar. You may have watched them. You may have watched mine before. This is one of the most important videos in your entire digital product business. Now, does it have to be a high production video? Not at all, right? In fact, Wise Owl said that 87% of consumers, they actually want to see a more authentic and relatable content from brands. And you know, it actually indicates a strong shift towards providing genuine and real life content because it feels more trustworthy and approachable. Nowadays, everything is too quote unquote plastic, right? And you know, I think a lot of people value that authenticity, especially when it comes to selling a digital product, right? I have a busy schedule. Like how much time do I need to dedicate to this weekly? Well, system is designed for busy agents, right? Most clients are still producing and we get it. So, you know, what you really want is if you want to go ahead and uh, do this, it's going to take about a maybe two hours a day for the first two weeks, right? So that's what we've seen to get everything launched. Now, after that, it's very minimal. And the only thing you're going to have is like calls a day with every single agent. We can easily outsource to a closer. Some of our top clients are working about four to six hours a week on the digital product that is also making over six figures a month. So if it's making six figures a month, four to six hours a week, I think it's a pretty good trade off. Um, and here's the thing, like some of our guys that are coming in or girls as well, like these top dogs, uh, they really want to get the digital product off the ground and they're still busy. They just hire implementer, right? They hire one of their social media coordinators and they run the program for them, right? Again, uh, there's still some involvement, but on average, I think it can be set up in about one to two weeks. That's what we've seen as an average time frame, right? So, um, you know, it's designed for busy agents is what we the I want to drive home here. And you want to think about it for yourself too. Like, look, spending time is only bad if you're spending it on the wrong thing, right? And if you spend on agent traction, it's like that one domino that tackles every other domino. Because if you think about it, agent traction, just like real estate production, is a vehicle to go ahead and make money. And money allows us to do a lot of things. It allows us to have more time, allows us to spend money with our family, allows us to live our dream life. So the question we're gonna ask is like, well, what's gonna be the highest leverage, you know, time to dollar output, right? For most people, it's going to be agent attraction, right? And it's like, I just talk about it for my own self, right? Like even I don't work uh, nearly as hard as some of my counterparts, especially in the real estate production side, 
and I'm making millions of dollars a year selling digital products. So the question is, what do you want to do? What is your priority, right? So step number three is now you uh, now got the digital product. You want to get paid to attract, right? So of course, before we get into the mechanics of this, you know how we got to the most important part. Let me actually go ahead and talk about the old way of recruiting agents, right? Like a lot of driving around to meet agents, talking to agents on the phone constantly, doing free trainings and all that kind of stuff. A lot of one-on-one -on -one tactics that will really never truly scale give the time of freedom um, or the leverage that Sammy has from really having the right attraction system. The only one we found that let Sammy and dozen other agents attractors go ahead and attract profitably. So get paid to attract. So when you do the, of course, old, you know, attraction methods, right? Or recruiting methods, you're just chasing agents and like, you know, a lot of agents will be like, dude, like, I know what you're doing here, right? Like, just stop, right? Like, you're trying to recruit me. Or, you know, you're always going to have a leaky bucket and, like, leads fall to cracks. You'll be too busy to keep recruiting and missing opportunities. You'll miss the opportunity to develop your own business and personal brand and really position yourself as an expert. In fact, it'll actually, you know, compound in the wrong favor for you in the, in the opposite uh, direction as well. Like, for most people, right? Like, you know, they are sort of seen as that one guy that's always talking about recruiting, right? In fact, I look back at my own uh, life as well. Like I have some friends that I don't even talk to anymore because they just try to recruit me so hard in the WFG, which is an insurance MLM. And you don't want to have that same vibe. It's a way better way of doing it, especially in real estate. Um, it's very low ROI in your time spent. And, you know, it's a lot of resistance and a lot of commission objections. And you just feel spammy, like it reeks of commission breath, right? So you're basically, you know, really working for free because the, part, the, worst, part of the worst part of the old way is like the massive financial risk and waste of time because... It's terrible to know that you're trying to help agents uh, with the hope of getting paid later. It doesn't really make sense for anyone. And a lot of times you end up attracting agents that end up leaving very soon. It's not really that fun. So ultimately, the number one agent attraction principle this is based on psychology is detailed in Sammy's story, right? Leveraging profit to fuel continuous growth. Like the core principle of the attraction on demand framework that is went over here is that is getting paid to attract means that agents will succeed. Therefore, they'll stick and stay with you and become invested in themselves and your team as much as you invest in them. And that's how it should be since there's equal exchange of value. I also would argue that as well that since now you're getting paid a little bit quicker, that money can now be reinvested back into helping your agency even further, which now allows you to get paid more as well. So it's like a win, 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 right? On every single level. So, um, you know, Know, here's the thing like like Sam, you can go ahead and reinvest your profits if you want to get more appointments. And as you bring more agents to your downline, not only do your profit grow, but now his credibility grows as well in the market. Like you see Sammy here, uh, he has all these case studies that he's helped and he's doing quite well. And like tens of thousands of agents are seeing this every single day. So now when he goes on public, they're like, wait, I see your ads everywhere, dude. Like, what do you do? And it's like that status, right? It's, a, it's exchange of status. If someone views you, if someone's viewing, like it's like a celebrity effect, right? Like you look at celebrities, the reason why celebrities are up there is just because they're always on our attention. They're always in our newsfeed. And now you have that effect, right? And chances are you may have seen my face from business partner's face all over the internet because you're on our YouTube channel right now, right? You may have not have, but take a look at some people that run a lot of ads, right? This is what you want, especially as an agent attractor. So this is the power of online advertising, right? Like online ads, unlimited reach and scalability can target anyone in the world. Uh, you can use machine learning to find the most motivated agents who crave change right now, like AI and everything is become increasingly easier. Uh, you can mention the geographical freedom and the ability to attract agents from anywhere. And you actually explain how online ads act as a scalable and efficient lead generation method. So here's the thing, the power of online ads is uh, Sammy, right? Taking for him, right? Like 700 grand in the first year, $1.2 million in 18 months, price point five to 10 grand, Facebook, Instagram ads, 30% of his clients into his organization. Like that's insane, right? And if you watch the interview, he never actually asked his clients really to go ahead and partner with him. Uh, he probably could have brought that up to 50%. In fact, to give you guys a nice, uh, nice little example, um, one of my clients, Joel Johnson, right? Um, you know, he, he has about 10 to 12 appointments per day is what he said. He's like, I'm all day on agent, rec agent retraction recruiting calls. And he says that from his funnel for his digital product, 50% of the people basically book with him for agent traction without even buying a digital product, right? So keep like, just take that in, that's insane, right? And that is what you want is, well now you're at a place where you don't even bring everyone in for agent traction. You have all these calls on a daily basis. You're actually reflecting the people and sending them back and saying, hey, look, you're not a good fit right now. You can come back. Now imagine doing that, right? Like no agent tractor out there is turning agents away because they only want a certain type of person. Imagine if you could do that. They're probably gonna come back to you after they put the work in. Like this guy turned me away. Like what is he offering? And that's what you want, right? You want to create that problem for yourself. So what if I spend money and it doesn't work? Well, Sammy had the same hesitations as well, but the numbers don't lie, right? And he spends 50 to $60 to get a filled out application. That's from his actual ad managers here, right? You can see. Now, it sounds way too technical and time consuming. Well, it can be if you don't use the right tools. I mean, that's why having the right tools for the job, it's, it's, it's absolutely true, right? The number one issue we see at our clients is they're trying to be too fancy. Remember, 
this is the business world your website and video it doesn't really you know matter as much as your authenticity right it leads to trust and bringing the right people a lot of times like a lot of agent tractors try to be perfect right they hire all the expensive camera crews all the kind of stuff you don't need that authenticity is the most important thing right this video i'm recording right now i can go ahead and hire a ten thousand dollar camera team and get it edited but i really care about the substance and the authenticity i'm providing here i want to go ahead and leave with value and that's what you want right that's what people really care about so is now the right time to invest in agent attraction well the best time to start was yesterday if not today now the real reason why you're still in production is because you aren't focusing on agent attraction it's a double-edged sword the only way to free up your time earn money and do what you want is just if you say enough is enough i mean a lot of people that i know especially in like the whole online space of digital products i mean they only got in because they wanted to work less and earn more. Now, forget about digital products. The entrepreneur, as a human, we all want to work less and earn more. And, you know, production is not really fun, right? Let's face it, like, it's a lot of stress. You might make money from it. But I had actually seen that from a lot of my clients, how much money they make from production, you know, a few hundred grand a year, even, you know, seven figures a year in gross. Um, a lot of them are making way more than that selling digital products. And they're having more fulfillment from their lives. And they're working less and they're actually building a compounding machine in their favor because they're attracting agents month over month and they do it for four or five years like you don't have to work ever a day in your life again ever and it keeps on going up because it's compounding and you're not just attracting random agents you're attracting the right agents because you're using this product to filter out people that's the truth so our system works regardless of your current or future brokerage it doesn't matter it's designed to be adaptable right once sami saw the success of his product sales for his frontline and downline, he switched brokerages and took the system with him, right? So if you want to replicate Sammy's results, well, you can go ahead and apply now. We're always taking on new clients for our offer at the Agent Attraction Accelerator Program. And it's very, very unique, this offer. We help you pretty much launch a digital product. We give you our white label stuff, everything you need to know. We help you build the ads. We help you get your calendar packed. We help you actually give you interviews as well and private golden nuggets of how to actually attract the agents now as well. We help you also sell digital product and fulfill the clients as well. And then from the clients that are actually bought your digital product, we also help you get them down into your downline again. So it's like we have a whole ecosystem we teach you and it's very, very unique. I mean, I don't think right now in the industry, no one's really selling this offer like this. And we prefer uh, fewer people, but higher quality, long-term relationships. I mean, we're not cheap at all, but you know, the price that we're charging is still too low. Like some of our clients last month, one of our clients made 300 grand in a single month. Like that amount of money is absolutely life-changing. And you know, of course we want all of our clients to do the same thing. So what we're charging is a fraction of what you're going to make. So if you're interested and you want to work with us, click the link somewhere below the video, book a call, and we're waiting for you guys on the other side. See you guys.